young people to tell their stories, their true stories, as well as their dreams, hopes, and visions um, through poetry. And so I, I work in a number of settings. Um, right now I have a job at a Global Citizenship Experience High School um, in the Old Town neighborhood of Chicago. And um, uh, yeah, working to you know, help kids and young, young people see that their voices matter and can change the world. So I was featured in the film Louder Than a Bomb, which it says um, on my little bio there. Um, if you don't know what that is, go, you can see the movie. The movie is an amazing film, but even more amazing is the actual event, Louder Than a Bomb, um, which is every year in the downtown area of Chicago, and it's the biggest youth poetry slam festival in the world. And it's got like 700 kids from all over the city coming together to spit poems um, and listen to each other. So it's one of the most powerful community building tools I've ever seen. And it's changed my life maybe more than anything else. So um, that's where I come from and why I do what I do. So um, I'm going to spit one poem to you all, gratefully. And this is a poem I wrote based off of my favorite workshop to teach. I'll be teaching it later in the workshop section of today's events um, about imagining a future utopia. Uh, so, um, what is your dream is the question I ask in the workshop um, and feels like an appropriate way to honor the memory of Dr. King. Um, so, Yes, this is the music of anger, or this is the year. After Martin, Martin, Paolo, Pablo, Roque, Aracelis, Kevin, Carl, John, Joni, Ami, Bob, Bob, Lawrence, Alan, Jack, The Beatles, Tupac, Climbing Poetry, and Aldrin. This is, in fact, the year that squatters evict landlords as we occupy not only Wall Street, but all streets, shouting in unison, singing in harmony, sleeping in parks, standing on bridges. This is the year art, music, and poetry are everywhere. This is the year jail bars crumble to dust. This is the year of reckless democracy, tent cities erected in Bank of America lobbies, firefighters playing bagpipes among the throngs, millions of lights going out all at once and guerrilla radio blasting like Sandberg's mob waking up at last. Praise you, people. Praise the protesters. Bless you, truth speakers. Bless all the tents. Come drummers, come crowds, come hordes of screamers. Praise this music of your loud anger, which is your hunger. This is the year news reports are all about hope. With headlines like, Kindergarten class cleans late, Choir cures cat's cancer, And beautiful birds are back in the bay, Alliteration being obligatory. This is the year the White House is painted rainbow, Televisions are used as box drums, And churches throw dance parties to which everyone is invited. This is the year bicycles swarm the streets with car lanes squeezed to the margins. This is the year a law is passed prohibiting police officers from gathering in groups larger than two. <laughs> Enforced by mobs of brown-skinned teenagers loudly singing, dancing, spitting. This is the year Monsanto goes bankrupt and lawsuits lost to farmers in third world countries. This is the year factory workers, bus drivers, nurses, waitresses, busboys trade jobs with politicians. This is the year teachers can't afford beach vacations while CEOs have to work night jobs to pay the electric bills. <laughs> this is the year marijuana is legal, cheap, and ubiquitous, and fast food is banned and dangerous and addictive. <laughs> this is the year teachers, uh, this is the year February, Black History Month, becomes White History Month. And the rest of the year is for everything else. This is the year kids go to school and teachers ask, what do you want to be? 
education is banned and feeling wasteful is a requirement for citizenship. This is the year marriage is banned and genders are forgotten, bathroom signs covered over in graffiti. This is the year white folks are called illegal aliens and the presence of Mount Rushmore miraculously morphed into the faces of crazy horse Black Elk, Tecumseh, and Chief Seattle. This is the year food and water are free and gas is too expensive for everyone. In fact, this is the year money is worthless and land is priceless. This is the year we remember that we cannot buy or sell the earth because we are her. If replacing Bush with Obama began as a vision of a president with a different name and face, then this is the 